everybody, it's the Lego Brits here, and today I'm going to be talking about why Lego has the best customer service ever. Now, I've heard lots and lots of funny stories about good and bad things about Lego customer service, about getting sent things for free, and you know what? I thought I'd give it a go, so I sent Lego this email. Just to be clear, the concerns that I voiced in this email that I'm about to read to you were completely my own. I did not make these things up. These are actually my opinions, and I voiced them to the Lego group through this email, so here it goes. Hi, Lego customer service. I'm writing to express some of my concerns being a Lego fan from the UK. Firstly, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Lego Star Wars sets being the Nebulon B Frigate and the Bestman Jewel were released only in America in 2020. And I kind of went on to say how it was unfair that they were released only in America, because if I'd gone to the convention, I would have been able to pick them up. Also, they become very expensive, so I wasn't able to afford them. The table's moving there. Anyway, I'll go back to the email. Also, the new LEGO Star Wars Imperial Shuttle from 2021 retailed for $70 in the US and £70 in the UK. Now, this is a big problem. Despite the currencies meaning that the UK price should have been far lower. Also, I would really appreciate some sort of reassurance that LEGO is offering the same experience to UK fans. Blah, 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 blah. So, I wait my response. I thought I'd mention this because it's as you would expect from any customer service that's computer generated. But anyway, just after sending that email, I sent it to lego.com. I received a computer generated email, you can see it on screen now, basically saying thank you for emailing Lego customer service. It's not the most important thing, but anyway, I thought I'd read that out. Less than 24 hours after emailing them, which is pretty efficient for a customer service, I received this email here, and it was obviously from an actual person, not a computer. Thanks for getting in touch with us. I'm sorry you're not happy with the price of Lego sets in the UK. We consider lots of different factors when we're working out the right price for our toys. For example, we think about transport costs, currency exchange rates, local laws and taxes, and prices of other toys. Note that Lego's calling them toys. I personally don't think that all Lego are toys. No, people are going to really disagree in the comments here, but that's not the main thing. Let's just keep reading. As no two countries are the same, prices can vary from country to country. It's super important to us that Lego toys are priced fairly for our fans around the world, so I'll let the team that takes care of pricing know your comments. Yes, team that takes care of pricing, please do lower UK prices. It is pretty unfair for us, and Canada as well, I know. As for the two stole sets that you mentioned, those were made for special events that were cancelled. When the event was cancelled, arrangements were made to have the sets available in the country where the special event would have been held. They were only available in limited quantities for a limited time. This is where it gets interesting. They said this, We love hearing feedback from our fans, even when it's something we didn't get quite right. I've shared your feedback with the proper teams. And then, here we go, as an apology, I'm sending you a surprise gift. You should receive it within the next three to seven business days. I hope you enjoy it. If there's anything else we can help you with, please let us know. Have a lovely day, Ryland Lego Customer Service. So at this point, I was like, it's happening. Lego are sending me something for free. I only expected it to be something small, like a keychain or maybe a tiny microfighter. But they sent something a little bit bigger than that. And, you know, I was like, yes, they are sending it when I got to see what it was because I got a confirmation email. It was here within the next two to three days. And goodness me, let me show you what it was. It's not the greatest set ever, but for free from Lego customer service. Here it is. Here is the set that was sent to me within two to three business days. In fact, I know they sent a little bit more, but they sent it to me incredibly quickly with tracks. Oh my goodness, they were very, very fast. Now, I know this isn't the greatest set ever, so calm down in the comments, okay? I don't think it's that bad, but here we go. We have the brand new Lego Star Wars 2021 Resistance X-Wing. And you're going to go, no, it's a four plus set. I hate four plus sets. No, get rid of it. I actually don't think it's that bad. It is perfect for younger children. And I actually have a video all about that that's going to be planned. And it's not going to be a review as such, but it's going to be talking about why four plus sets aren't actually that bad. And I'm going to be converting it into... Spoiler, a 501st Headhunter, so make sure you subscribe for that video, that is going to be very, very fun indeed. But anyway, Lego sent me this set, and I am so grateful. I didn't expect it, I wouldn't have bought it otherwise, because I was of the opinion that it's not that great. Yes, it's not the greatest build ever, but still, it is really good for free. Like, this is a £20 value right here, it is very cool, so a massive thank you to Lego Customer Service. So I bet you were all asking, did I try again? As I got free Lego, did I just try again? Email them with a different complaint, and see where they sent me something so I knew you'd ask that so I sent Lego this email I said 
Hi LEGO customer service, I'm writing to express my disappointment with the amount of stickers in LEGO Star Wars sets these days. I recently bought and built the LEGO ATST Raider, and while the end product looks incredible, which it does, you can see it in the background there, the designers did a great job, but the amount of stickers made it feel quite frustrating at times. In LEGO 4 Plus Resistant X-Wing set, for example, so I actually use this one as an example, there are lots of printed pieces, and basically why don't LEGO continue that, I do love the company. So. I received this email back. So, did Lego send me another one of these? Did they send something else? The answer is no. They did reply, and it was a different person replying, but I thought I'd continue the experiment, because I know you would have bugged me in the comment section. If you'd asked again, will you get it? If I email, will I get it? Does everyone who emails Lego customer service get something? So, but let's see what they responded anyway. No free Lego this time, but let's see what they said. They said, we're sorry to hear that you're unhappy with these stickers on your LEGO set. We try really hard to make sure our toys, now notice two people from LEGO customer service are referring to LEGO as toys. And you know what, I really agree with them. LEGO is primarily made for children and was made for toys. Obviously some things like this can be a beautiful display piece. And I know lots of people, <clears throat> M&R Productions, will think that that statement is completely wrong. And have a go at LEGO for calling their products toys, even though in my opinion they are. But I'll leave that for the comment section to discuss. Anyway, they said they want to make their toys imaginative creative, fun and last for ages, blah blah blah, they'll pass it on to the right people, but no mention of free Lego there, so there is your answer to every time I email, do I get free Lego? No, but it was an interesting response nonetheless. Thank you very much for watching this Lego customer service style video, this was really interesting to put together, but it took a lot of time and preparation, so make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, let me know in the comments what do you think of Lego customer service, have you ever had any fun experiences with them, just like me getting this completely for free, and what do you think about all the same as I said, particularly about 4 plus sets, I'd be interested to hear that. Stay tuned for that video on 4 plus sets and have a great day. Goodbye.